you know, it's your mother, it's your grandmother, you know, and, and it's just sad that, you know, they have these people that come and prey on them. Fear of retaliation is why we're protecting this woman's identity. She claims these pictures of loose bricks and wet sealant are the evidence of an unnecessary poor chimney repair. As the caretaker for a 91 year old Delaware County woman, she believes her elderly client was targeted by chimney sweeps from New York who showed up unannounced, started working without the caretaker's permission and demanded almost $3,000 dollars at the end of the day. Police got involved and cited the sweeps for working without a permit in the township. They don't know what they're doing. You know, they're not doing a job. They're just in it to scam people. Yeah, these guys come out who have no formal training at all. Um, real high pressured sales trying to get you to do work while they're there. Chimney sweep Luke Curley of Drexel Hill says he knows the routine of these out of town workers all too well and insists when it comes to restoration, like a chimney reline, it's often a complex job that requires specialized planning and material. Unless it's an absolute emergency, you're not supposed to do the job that day anyway. Here's what you should know. You can always check with the Chimney Safety Institute of America to find certified sweeps in your area. Also, check with your township to make sure the workers are licensed and insured and ask for recent and local references. It's just sad. Like people should be made aware of the fact that these people are out there. Again, a red flag to watch out for is if these people come to your home without an appointment and try to get you to do the work that day. If this has happened to you, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to reach out on Twitter. Reporting live tonight in Springfield, Delaware County, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News.